Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a great day. Now, while football's had some pretty impressive athletes throughout its history, there's been some other sports that have had some pretty freak athletes as well. You look at basketball and you have players like Michael Jordan and LeBron James. In baseball, you got guys like Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge. And in soccer, you got guys like Ronaldo and Messi. And when looking back at some of the greatest athletes in human history, you cannot forget one Muhammad Ali. This dude was just a beast, and it seems like he passed down his freak athleticism down to his grandchildren. Yes, Muhammad Ali's grandson was a four-star running back who played for Bishop Gorman, but now plays for the University of California. So today I'm gonna be watching Biagio Ali Walsh's highlight tape. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be upfront with it. I'm pretty sure I might have mispronounced that. All right, now I don't know about you guys, but when I think about boxing, the first thing I think about is footwork. And if you guys have seen any Muhammad Ali fights or in interviews or anything like that, this dude had some of the quickest feet. Just period and since his grandson plays running back i want to see if this dude's got them quick steps some nice feet so i'm not gonna find that out by me just talking to you guys so let's just get right into this video three two one Psh. all right so let's see if biagio can replicate some of the success that his grandfather had in the ring on the football field let's go Bien i actually have heard i've actually heard about this kid because there was a period of time because he's same class as me, or not, he wasn't same class as me, I was 2014, but I remember as a, or not my freshman year, maybe like my sophomore or junior year, I was hearing about this kid, and I was like, oh snap, Muhammad Ali's son goes to Bishop Gorman, and uh, yeah, this kid is extremely fast. Um, one of the, one of the, the head coach over there, I don't know if he's still the head coach, but uh, the head coach while he was there, said that Biagio was the fastest person, the fastest player he's ever seen play. Not ever coached, like the fastest player he's ever seen play. And he was clocked at a 4-4-1, so he's not lying. That's almost 4-3 territory, which once you're hitting 4-3s, that's some elite level speed right there. Bro, those cuts are so quick. And Lord knows, if you guys know anything about Bishop Gorman, they're not playing no patty cake teams. Like, <laughs> this, this dude is going up against the nation's finest every single week. Made him look dumb. Hit him, hit him with the left, right, left, right. <laughs> nice cut. Get off me. Get off me. Cut back. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yo, I think, okay. Comment down below what your favorite, one of, what, one of your favorite uh, touchdown celebration is. I, I like... Tyree kills where he just does the peace sign as he's as he's just running past you. I think that's so funny. He's like, yeah, let's see you. <laughs> yeah, you guys cannot tell me Bishop Gorman. That cut was disgusting. That that cut was absolutely disgusting. But you guys cannot tell me that Bishop Gorman does not have one of the just icest uniforms in the nation. Like, I I, I don't care where you're from, California, Texas, whatever. They got some of the coldest uniforms. Period. Get off of me. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him because yo, he's he's just a cow, so I, I definitely get the cow games, so I gotta gotta start looking out for him. He wears number 26 in college, so gotta be looking out for number two six. He exposed number three. Number three didn't even know what happened. He was just like, wait, there was a guy in front of me a couple seconds ago. What? <laughs> hey, I, I guess I guess that quick twitch muscle fiber or whatever Muhammad Ali had. <laughs> transferred over to him because I mean he's got the footwork he's got the speed he's got some power some strength in him too hey now once he hits that second level he's just gone like there's just no chasing him down he's just gone that's when you know you got real speed when you can split defenders like that that's when you know you got some real speed I like how he just, like, obviously he's fast, but like, he just hits the hole and just makes, he only makes necessary cuts. Like, he just makes one cut and then relies on his speed. I've seen a lot of kids that have a lot of speed on my channel, and sometimes they, they don't trust their speed enough, and they try and make unnecessary cut moves, and their talent is, they're so talented that they can get away with that, but at the next level, if 
if you're not if you don't need to make an unnecessary move just just run as fast as you can past the person i would say like five times not not five times i'd say like seven times out of ten those you speedsters out there if you just relied on your speed you would be able to outrun the person and you wouldn't have to make like an unnecessary cut move that slows you down They're looking like Oregon. Bishop Gorman looks like Oregon when they played Wisconsin a couple years ago in the Rose Bowl. Well, oh, not just the chrome helmets. They Oregon was wearing green was wearing green uniforms, I believe. But their chrome helmets were ice. He just exposed. His jump cut is ridiculous. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely got that footwork down. That's the balance. There we go. That is the balance right there. Yo, for, for those of you guys who have been following the channel for a little bit, I, I like to start basing some of the skill that I see off of running backs and really all players, but I want I got to see what their balance is looking like. Because if you have good balance, that means that you can make a lot more plays that most athletes really couldn't make. 73. He's holding up number 73 like a champ. Yo, that was so clean. That hit spin-off move is so cold. Yeah, I definitely got to watch at least one Cal game to see what this kid's got. Okay, I mean... It was just a normal block. <laughs> nice delay. And we gone. Like, like right there. If he would if he would have just stuck with his speed. Wow, he really should have kept on running. But if he would have stuck with the speed, I think he could have just outran that guy. Alright, so as you guys can see, Muhammad Ali's grandson, he, he could ball out. Dude was just putting the burners on everyone. He's either running past you or taking your ankles. I definitely have to watch at least one Cal game to see what this dude is doing at the college level. Hey, if he keeps on balling out like this, maybe he'll be able to break away from his grandfather's shadow. Alright, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 300 likes? That lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see, because that's how I know. Well, you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking all of the videos. Not one of them, not, not two. All the videos that I am coming out with. Yeah. All right, but with that all being said, hope that you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.